In this presentation, we're going to look at the typical steps that are followed in the preparation of a digital mapping solution. Firstly, bringing in the data. Many businesses seeking a digital mapping software solution will approach Lovell Jones with an Excel spreadsheet of their specific business data to be mapped. Perhaps a business may be seeking to map their customer locations by product type to visualize distribution and apportion them to the nearest sales engineer. Alternatively, a business may need to map the postcode districts in which they operate and create new sales territories. The common factor for any such data set is that it must contain a geographic or spatial reference and this is typically an address or postcode. Secondly, georeferencing the data. The next step in the process will often be to georeference the address data set. Georeferencing is the process in which the full address or the postcode of the business data is matched to a data set of map coordinates to allow each customer record to be given a specific geographic location. Georeferencing or geocoding can be carried out to differing levels of accuracy according to whether we're starting with a full address or just a business postcode. Thirdly, choosing the base map. Once the business data has been geocoded, we shall typically agree the base mapping with the client. The key questions about base mapping are, what is the area to be mapped? The whole of the UK, or regions, or Europe, or the world? What map scale is best suited to the data? And are multiple scales of base mapping required to allow the user to zoom in and pan around the map? The style of base mapping is also a key consideration as this will need to complement the business data. There are a host of options for base mapping and this needs to be considered carefully. Finally, choosing the functionality. At an early stage, a decision will be made on the functionality of any digital mapping solution. In its simplest form, a digital map can be a static image for a brochure or website, perhaps supplied as a JPEG of suitable resolution. If a little interaction is required, then a layered PDF will allow any map layer, such as customer location or sales territories, to be ticked and unticked. Other clients might be looking for an interactive mapping solution where the location data can be filtered and also queried by the user to return results from a database.